Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film a makeup tutorial for you guys. This is an everyday makeup look for people who wear glasses like me. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you guys wouldn't know that I recently just got glasses. I am part of the Four Eyed Squad now. Woo! Honestly, I love wearing glasses. I don't mind them. I used to wear them when I was really little. I used to wear them when I was like three. Um, but then I stopped wearing them because I didn't need them anymore. And it is weird to get used to, but I really love wearing glasses. I think there's such a great fashion statement, even if you don't need a prescription. Um, so this look can be used for anybody. You don't need to have glasses to wear this look, or you don't need to have a prescription glasses to wear this look. You can have fake ones. Um, I used to do that before I actually got real glasses. Um, but I love glasses, and some people don't like wearing them because they feel insecure, but I think you should embrace them. I think they're beautiful, and I think they make you look really smart and intelligent, and... I wanted to do a makeup look for you guys. So I decided to film this makeup look because A, I got glasses and I thought it'd be a really cool video, but two, just to help everyone out who does wear glasses and doesn't really know what makeup to do because they're so overpowering to your face. So I put some tips and tricks in this makeup look for you guys who are part of the four-eyed squad like I am. Um, so I did this everyday makeup look with two different lip options, one darker lip, which is this one, and then a more nude lip if you're not really into the bold and crazy lips. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see my everyday makeup look for people who wear glasses, then let's get straight into the video. So before I go in with foundation, I'm going to moisturize my skin. I'm going to be using the Confidence in a Cream by It Cosmetics. This stuff is like an anti-aging moisturizer. It is so nice and it wears really beautifully under makeup. So I'm going to apply that first and push that into my skin. For primer, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Filling primer. This is basically a dupe for the Benefit Cosmetics Professional. If you guys are familiar with that, it's the same exact thing. This is just a little bit more oily. Um, now for foundation, I'm going with my favorite foundation in the world. It is the Lancome. Oh my God, Tint Idol. I don't know how to pronounce it. 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 320W. So basically, what I did was I just dotted little dots around my face and then blending it out with a damp beauty blender. I really love this foundation. It does a really go good job of covering things, but it also just wears really beautifully. It looks like your skin, and it doesn't feel or look like you're wearing any makeup. It is a gorgeous foundation. I'm telling you, go try it. You're going to fall in love with it. Now I'm going to color correct the darkness underneath my eyes. I'm going to go in with the Benefit Cosmetics Erase Paste in the shade Light. And I'm going to show you the difference of how much color correcting underneath the eyes really does brighten up the eyes. I'm going to show you after I do one eye. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just applying it with a brush. And I'm going to place it anywhere where I have darkness. So really in the inner corners of my eyes. And then right underneath the eyelids, mostly in the inner corner. Look at the difference. It is so much brighter on the right side than the left side. So I really like doing that before I go in with my concealer, which is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium. I'm just going to apply it how I usually do underneath the eyes, the chin, the cupid's bow, the nose, and the forehead. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I always do is blend it out with a damp beauty blender. Color correcting really does make a difference when it comes to concealer because I feel like if I don't color correct, I still see a bit of darkness coming through in the inner corner. So I really like to do this before I do my concealer. To set the concealer, make sure it doesn't crease and it wears really beautifully. I'm going to set it with the Cody Air Spun Translucent Powder. As usual, I always like to set my foundation and concealer just because I don't want it to crease and I want it to stay really long time. This look mainly focuses on the lashes and the skin. I'm really big into skin when I wear my glasses because that's what shows the most. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Better Skin Transforming Powder. The usual. I'm going to push that into my skin. I do not rub the powder. I push the product into my skin so the foundation doesn't wipe off. Now to bring some life back into my flat face, I'm going to go in with my tried and true Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. This is just a really nice bronzer for everyday wear. Um, it's nothing too crazy, nothing too harsh, and it's that perfect contour slash bronzing shade. It doesn't look too muddy and it doesn't look too orange, so it's my favorite. Now for blush, I'm going to go with a really natural blush just by Japonesque, and it's their Velvet Touch Blush in the shade number two. I like going for this blush if I want more of a natural blush look. Um, sometimes I really like peachy blushes, sometimes I really like oranges, really pink, but this is just a really nice natural flush. Now for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Becca Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill Collaboration Champagne Pop. I love this highlight. It looks beautiful, and it looks really natural, like almost like the sun is just touching your skin. Um... I really like glowy skin when I'm wearing my glasses. I feel like if you have the focus on your skin, it just brings out the inner beauty almost, if that makes any sense. 
So I like to highlight anywhere where the sun would touch your face. So your cheekbones, your cupid's bow, your chin. I love a good chin highlight. And your nose and then right above your eyebrow, kind of where the sun would touch. And if you move your face, that's where the light would hit. And then to blend the powder in with your foundation, I like to go in with the beauty blender and just push the highlight into my skin. It makes it look a little bit more natural and not too powdery, if that makes any sense. So when it comes to wearing glasses, I really like a bold brow because your brows can get lost underneath your glasses. So I'm going to go in with my favorite brow pencil. It is precisely my brow in shade number three by Benefit Cosmetics. And I really like to do a bold brow. Um, I mean, I wear bold brows on a regular anyway, but the main focus is on your brows because your brows can get lost behind those big frames of your glasses and you really want them to stand out and which will bring out your eyes more. And to make sure my brows don't go anywhere, I'm going to set it with the Benefit Cosmetics Ready Set Brow Gel. This is amazing. Um, and you definitely want to set your brows so they just don't move if your glasses hit them or rub off during the day. Very important. Now for eyes, I'm going to do something super simple today. Nothing too crazy. It's just going to be like a warm, matte, smoky eye. So I'm going to go in with the Sweet Peach Palette by Too Faced. I'm going to go in with the shade Puree. And I'm just going to put this in the crease and really smoke it out and kind of just create that warm, smoky eye that we're looking for. Nothing too crazy. We're only going to use three shades in the eye today, two in the crease, and then one on the lid. It's super simple, and we're just kind of doing that just to give some color to the eye. Now I'm going in with the color right next door to it, to the right, and it's just a little bit more red undertone. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm just placing it on the outer corners just to create a little bit more depth and add a little bit more color to it. And then for the lid shade, I'm going to go in with this shade in the palette. It's just a really nice nude shade and I'm just going to place that on the lid just to have a nice matte eye look that we're going for. Before I go in with false lashes, I'm going to apply mascara. I'm going to go in with my favorite. It's called the L'Oreal Telescopic Black Mascara. So what's really important is you want to do the top and bottom lashes just because that really opens up your eyes. And when you're wearing glasses, your eyes kind of get hidden behind the glasses. So you really want to do everything that you can to make them come out. So that's why I'm applying false lashes just because I feel like your eyes get lost. So you definitely want to do the top and bottom just so it really brings them out. And then I'm going to go with my favorite natural pair of lashes. It's the Lily Lashes Indie Style Canes. They are absolutely beautiful. They're the perfect. They flare out at the ends. They're gorgeous and they're my favorite pair of lashes. And these are the perfect lashes to bring out your eyes underneath the glasses. Now to set my makeup and make sure it does not budge. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Spray and Set. It's their makeup extender, and it's just to make sure your makeup is going to last all day long underneath your beautiful glasses that you're wearing. And then I just let it dry, so I just wave my hands around my face. So for this look, I had two lip options. One is more of a nude, and one is more of a bold. The nude uh, lip is the Tarte Cosmetics Color Splash Lipstick in the shade Beach Babe. This is like my go-to nude shade. I wear this all the time. So this is the perfect nude shade for your glasses. It's just like that pinky nude. So the second lip option is this beautiful red lip. I thought it was a beautiful color to contrast with the dark frame. So I picked this one. It is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Disorderly. It is the perfect burgundy lip. And it is very wearable for the day. I don't think it's too dark. I just think it was beautiful and it went really well with the glasses so I applied this and it stayed on a really long time and it was very comfortable. This is my first time wearing this and I was really impressed with the formula so these are like my new favorite formula. hope you guys enjoyed this video I love my glasses and I think they make me look super beautiful and super intelligent and life is all about being different and unique and I really do think glasses make each individual person unique so if you do have prescription glasses like me embrace them embrace being different because that's what life is about um, so if you guys did like this everyday makeup look for people who wear glasses then please give it a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you guys don't miss any more of my uploads and I will see you guys really soon bye